We all know some advertisers, that usually exaggerate the qualities of their products. But most of the times, there is some truth underneath the main message. And here is a good example. Chegou a nova Honda CB 600 F Hornet. Potência na máxima potência. Nem tatuagem vai conseguir ficar colada em você. And so we learn that the Honda Hornet is the fastest machine in the world for removing tattoos. Right? Unfortunately, no. But the commercial does an excellent job of presenting the Hornet's main quality. It is a really fast and powerful motorcycle. Therefore, a perfect candidate for a cafe racer project. Isn't it? Well, it depends on who's going to do the job. Because it's a dirty job. And only someone very special can really do it. Welcome to Racer TV. I am going to start by asking you to hold on to your thoughts about this machine. Because whatever they are, I'm sure you will change your mind after I explain the details. This project is way more complex than it may seem at first sight. But if you already recognized the builder's name, I am sure you were already expecting that. This Honda is the work of Retrorides by Lorenzo, from Brazil. And here is the team. Brothers Gustavo, Rodrigo, and their father, Jose Lorenzo. The master who taught them the art, of customizing cars and motorcycles. The idea of building this cafe racer, came from Rodrigo. He always wanted a project inspired on a Honda from the 70s, but with some modern elements. And so their search began, for one of the earliest models, of the Honda CB600 Hornet. Believe it or not, they saw 17 Hondas, before buying this one. Although the Honda Hornet is one of the most popular four-cylinder motorcycles in Brazil, it is very difficult to find one in good condition. After dismantling it, Rodrigo immediately noticed that the swing arm, was too modern for his taste. And so he decided to make a new one from scratch. Personally, I think he made an excellent decision. The new swing arm, is really a beautiful piece. The original front suspension and brakes, were never the Hornet's greatest features. Therefore, they used a front end from a Kawasaki ZX636. To get the Honda flavor from the 70s, Lorenzo Brothers tried an original CB750's fuel tank. Fortunately, it didn't work. I said fortunately, because this one is simply perfect. And this is where the Lorenzo team master, uses his old school skills, to make it happen. Mr. Jose began its work, with a fuel tank from this small motorcycle. The tank had to be stretched almost 2 centimeters, and widened 6 centimeters. Things were going good, until they started going really bad. During this work, Mr. Jose began to feel sick, and was hospitalized urgently, 
due to heart problems. The following weeks were very hard to the Lorenzo brothers. Especially every time they looked to this unfinished fuel tank. But their bad luck had to change at some point. And two months later, Mr. Jose was finally ready to finish his work. He was so glad that even insisted on adapting an original Honda CB750 gas cap. The result a beautiful rounded fuel tank, perfectly proportionate to this project. It really captures the essence of the classic Honda from the 70s. I know most Honda Hornet fans love to hear the high revs of this engine. Unfortunately, I don't have enough riding sequences to demonstrate it. Because this project was already sold before I started making this video. And this also demonstrates how amazing this Honda really is. But if you think I already finished describing all the modifications of the project. Then I will have to say, you are wrong. Because now come the most impressive details. To create the spoked wheels, they had to design the two hubs, and make them from scratch using a CNC milling machine. After the first tests, Rodrigo wasn't happy with the Kawasaki front disc brakes. They look too modern for the project. And so they decided to make their own discs, but with some classic flavor, just to match with the rest. The top triple tree was also custom built, and finished with the 604 logo, and using the same Honda's lettering type from the 70s. I could go on for several minutes just to describe all the pieces the Lorenzo brothers had to manufacture for this Honda. But instead, I think is better to let these images speak for themselves. It is impressive to see the amount of work they had just to leave this Honda perfect for their eyes and this includes all the alignments they made, just to calculate the perfect lines of the rear cowl, swing arm, and subframe. Everything was extremely well thought. It is not by accident that this project seems to be one of the most beautiful Hornet Cafe racer I've ever seen. A perfect example of a blend between modern and classic. But I wouldn't expect anything different from Lorenzo's Wonder Team. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you on the next video.